Hey folks, we've got the Brother HL L3230 CDW banging away here on our own refills, of course. And I'll show you how for many months now we've been refilling it, printing with it, and sending much of that production out to real customers in the form of instruction booklets like this one. And to get off on the right foot, we need to get interested in this replace toner message. Replace toner, open the top cover, replace toner cartridge, and then the colour that's messing us around at the moment, magenta in this case. And the printer helpfully helps you to recognise this moment by refusing to print. Not a sausage will it print while the replace toner message is there. So, replace toner message, printer refuses to print, refill it, right? Don't beat yourself up if you were just about to say yes then. It was just a cheap shop from me, wasn't it? But the point is, by and large, there'll be a shed load of toner still left in your cartridge at this point, and you must not repeat, must, must not, 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 not refill on top of that residual toner. Instead, reset the cartridge named in the message. One more time, reset the cartridge named in the message. To the beat now. Reset the cartridge named in the message. 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 Reset, y'all. Scientists agree. Polar bears have massive footprints but actually quite small carbon footprints. And another convenient truth is that refilling your own toner cartridge at least halves its carbon footprint. And that's before we even consider the scourge of plastic waste. So there's absolutely no reason to be shy about swinging over to urefilltoner.co.uk and scoring some of these bad boys. So how? Pretty, kind sir, do we reset the cartridge named in the message? Well, by hook or by crook, we are going to need one of these. A reset wheel. Now, when your printer was new and life was probably simpler, it arrived with so-called inbox toner cartridges. So let's get one of those in-box toner cartridges and have a gander at the coloured end plate. And we're looking for the white reset wheel here. But hang on a minute, there isn't one. And that's because this is not a real toner cartridge, Geppetto. And in-box toner cartridges, at least the ones that arrive with our machine, haven't got reset wheels. So, we got hold of a Brother High Capacity Black Cartridge, which in the UK has the code TN247BK, but might have a different description in your part of the world. We took out these two screws, and we borrowed the reset wheel and spring. And, Listen very carefully, I will only say this once. We used that one reset wheel to reset all four in-box toner cartridges. That's right, one reset wheel, four cartridges reset successfully. So to reset an in-box cartridge, we took out the two screws thusly, took the end plate off, and added the spring. And I want you to notice the way the straight part of the spring fits behind the lug here. Then we held the other end of the spring out of the way 
and added the reset wheel like this. Notice where this first cog tooth is in relation to this post. If it's there, it will feel as if it wants to stay there by itself. Then we put the end plate back on and from the outside it should look like this. Now as time goes by we'll find we want to reset the cartridge named in the message. But we'll find that the cartridge named in the message already has a wheel in it. And if so, you'll see it's in this position, which is no good for resetting. So it's once more onto the end plate, the two screws, the end plate off, and you'll see this first tooth is at about three o'clock. So now just turn it clockwise, almost a complete revolution until that cogs here, about one o'clock. And like a cat on a radiator, it will feel as if it wants to stay there. Now having reset the cartridge named in the message and not put any more toner in, all you have to do is carry on printing. Simple. But then one fine day, you'll notice that your prints aren't right. And at that point, you should definitely print this fade out swatch. It's a PDF, and I think we've got enough Gravitas these days that you can just Google it. But I'll also put a link below the video. And by looking at which combination of color blocks is fading out, you can be fairly sure which of the four cartridges is, yay, verily, and forsooth, totally empty. And whichever one it is, that's the puppy you want to be putting some more toner in. If you've got some scales, you can also confirm the result by weighing the suspect cartridge. 367 grams if it hasn't got a reset wheel and spring, and 369 grams if it has got a reset wheel and spring. So now, and this is the crux, people. Refill the fading cartridge. The whole fading cartridge. And nothing but the fading cartridge. So we've got this copper melter, and they're on the website if you want one, which we like to heat up with a chef's blowtorch, which is what Jamie, Oliver and co use to burn the top of your creme brulee. We used these internal corners of the knurled plastic as a guide and melted the hole here. Then how does James Bond like a martini? Shaken, not stirred. I know that's the worst James Bond ever, but get the cartridge vertical, jam the spout in and then lean the whole kit and caboodle back to get that toner flowing in. Bring the cartridge back to the vertical and disengage the lunar module like so. And you might have to shake and pour like that a couple of times to get all that toner in. Like all good dentists, clean up around the orifice and then we put our plug in. Then we banged it back in the printer and here's our HL L3230CDW printing on all four, all refilled, all in-box cartridges and by a spooky coincidence they're printing instruction booklets on how to refill the HL L3230CDW. It was almost as if someone planned it. Now, if recycling is good, reuse is quite simply brilliant. Quite a few kilograms of CO2 better than recycling and a whopping 3.5 kilograms of CO2 less than buying a new cartridge. And all the materials are used directly again without needing to be assembled, transported or processed. Suffice to say, that by refilling your own toner cartridge, you can feel good about yourself, your planet, and all the creatures we share that planet with. And you can get started right now with the same toner we're using in this video by clicking on the eye link 
appearing top right. We practiced the art of masterly inactivity until we got the replace toner message together with the printer refusing to print. We did not put more toner in. We reset the cartridge named in the message by adding a reset wheel in this position for inbox toner cartridges or turning the existing wheel clockwise to this position if there was already a wheel there. Then we printed and printed and printed and reset and printed again as necessary until we noticed something was up with our prints. Whereupon we printed the fade out swatch or weighed cartridges to figure out which cartridge was in very truth totally and utterly and completely and absolutely empty. We melted, we poured, we plugged. We saved ourselves 40 of our great British pounds per cartridge and we felt at one with all of creation. And if you do the same, I can guarantee your only problem will be deciding whether you're a luminary or a genius. Never forget the seminal words of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. Refill what fadeth not, and your refill hopes are down the pot. If you need some toner and the other gubbins needed to do this refill, click on the eye link appearing top right. I'm going to leave you with some images of the monumental and unique beauty of our home and its inhabitants. Keep refilling in the free world.